Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, Russian Test Skate, the men's event. The men's portion of the Russian Test Skate started off with Peter Gumenik. I'm such a fan of Peter ever since he was a wee little thing on the junior circuit. He's grown so much, and I was kind of afraid he would lose his jump. I was also so livid when he was left off the national team. However, in retrospect, maybe that was for the best. I think it gave him motivation, and it's so good to see him skate so well so so early in the season. And I think this program also fits him. He emotes it well. Um, Peter was followed by Andre... Um, Moselev, who decided to keep his short program from last season. Unfortunately, his jumping problems from last season also followed him. Um, He also grew a little. Hopefully, he can get um, back the jump security that he had when he was uh, a junior. He was actually a pretty good jumper. But moving right along, my heart literally broke from my beloved Arthur Danielian. Oh, one of my favorite. The ice present, the toe point, the arch back, the purposeful hand movement, the knee bent, everything except those stupid jumps is fabulous. Arthur, please get the jumps together for this season. And he's also repeating his program. However, I love this program and I didn't get enough of it. So I'm glad he brought it back. And I would love to see Arthur at the Olympics, but he's going to have to get a handle on the jumps. Unfortunately, following Arthur was Alexander Samarin. The back-to-back comparison was just too stark. Samarin seemed like he's such a nice guy. As a person, I'm sure he's likable. His jumps are impressive when he lands them. His skating is just not my cup of tea. I'll, I'll leave it at that. It's just not my cup of tea. Then we had Mikael Kuliada. Honestly, honestly, after last season free skate, I'm spoiled when it comes to Kuliada. Now that we know what he can do with the right vehicle, anything else is just less. I also agree with everyone that Kuliada is very beautiful on the ice. However, to me, the beauty of his skating is not very accessible. By that, I mean there are skaters that invite you along with them for their performance, while others are more closed off and you view their performance more in a voyeuristic manner. Kuliada, for me, is more of the latter. I don't think this short program is bad for him. I don't think it's great, but I don't think it's bad either. I feel like if he could loosen up a bit, he might grow into this program. I think at the end of the day, I'm going to watch to see what happens with this particular program. On the other hand, Kuliada's skating partner was not playing today. I swear, Yevgeny um, Semenenko... He wants to go to the Olympic. He understands the assignment and is getting it done. And Evgeny actually improved a little. I mean, my man was rough last season. And while I'm not saying he's smooth now, at least he is moving in the right direction while maintaining his jumps. Also, no costume change is a plus in my book. Get it, Evgeny. Get it. Another skater that I've followed since junior is Makar Ignatov. He also grew a lot. For me, Makar is such a hot and cold skater. You never know how he's going to perform from one event to another. This is a good start to his season, but it it can go either way. All you can do with Makar is watch and hope for the best. On the other hand... Newcomer Mark um, Kajovki is definitely sneaking his way into my heart. He looks like he is here for the drama, and I love that. 
you can tell he has personality on the ice. And I'm all about a skater that is authentically themselves. And I think he is. Also, this program is giving me shades of Kevin Amos. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out on Mark this season. He could be a dark horse or even a game spoiler. Lastly was Dmitry Aliyev. Dmitry, are you going to stress me out this entire season? Listen, I cannot have both you and Arthur stressing me out for this season. Nah, you guys need to take turns. I can't handle both of you plus the drama of the Russian ladies. My heart cannot take it. I really want to see Aliyev at the Olympic. However, he needs a strong season for a fighting chance. And the only way I see that happening is if he gets his jumps in control. At this point, I think it's time to start lighting the candles. Surprisingly, I think the competition between the men and Russia is going to be much more interesting than I originally thought. With Kuliata almost guaranteed a spot, who are the other two? I'm saying other two with the belief that whoever they send to Nebohorn will get the third spot. Who do you think the Russians will send to Nebohorn? And who do you think will make the team? Let me know in the comments below.